Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. In this video, we're going to talk about a few things, particularly related to diesels and the 1KD FTV engine. Not only the 1KD, so we're kind of going to be talking about those, but it kind of relates to all the other diesel engines. Now, one part, I suppose, the main part we're going to start off on is, why does it blow smoke? Okay, so why does your diesel blow smoke or why does the one in front of you blow smoke? So there's a number of different reasons and different types of smoke that come out of a tailpipe produced by that diesel engine. And ideally, you want none or pretty close to none or nothing you can see. If you can see it, you know, it's fairly bad. The more you can see, the worse it is, okay? So let's start off with one of the most basic causes of blowing smoke. So let's talk about black smoke first. So black, 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 that's fuel. That's unburnt fuel, okay? So basically, if you are, I suppose, during the day like now on a nice, look at the day, guys, isn't it just beautiful? Anyway, so beautiful day, and you're out cruising along, and something's punching out, just pouring out the black smoke. Well, if it's that truck over there in the left lane, probably needs a bit more serious work than, uh, let's say, bad, bad example, okay. It's a Toyota, it's a Toyota Prado, okay. It's fairly well maintained. It's had the injectors replaced periodically at a, you know, sort of average recommended interval, you know, every 150,000 Ks or something like that. But it's blowing all this black smoke, well, Possibly, quite possibly, it could be the air filters blocked, okay? So, happens quite a lot where people have taken the vehicle off-road, maybe they're sort of new to off-road or they're not that aware, and they're following people closely, other vehicles, whether they know them or not, just stay back out of the dust, because what happens, you'll fill up your air filter and block it up in a day, by the end of that day, you'll be, you know, you'll be out wherever. As you accelerate, even in daylight, you'll see black smoke in your rear view mirror possibly okay so it could be that but it also can be that MAF sensor that's dirty and we've done a video on cleaning MAF sensors um, we've done them before and we've done them again and we'll probably release more so just keep your eye up search our channel for you know cleaning the MAF sensor or we'll so you know what that is we'll keep your eye out because there'll be one just released there will be one coming soon but you should clean that MAF sensor whenever you uh, replace your air filter um, if you're going off-road, try and stay out of people's dust because at the end of the day, the standard interval is every 30,000 k's generally, depending on what vehicle we're talking again about the Prado Hilux thing every every 30,000 k's. But on-road, that's kind of like an on-road average, like driving like this, you know. It's going to stay fairly clean in 30,000. It's going to have some of that black soot type stuff what's in the air when you're driving in traffic, you know. It goes black like that, have you noticed? Um, but it's going to stay breathe fairly well still usually, right, in that period of time. Now, get in the dust, sit in someone's dust all day, you're going to get more in a day and block it up more than that 30,000 k's driving up and down this road, okay? And obviously all conditions vary depending where you live. If you live out in the outback or on the edge of, you know, the suburbs and closer to dust where there's more dust in the air, it's going to get dirtier. If you're in a, more in around the suburbs, it's all green and lush in winter where the dust is down, it's going to be cleaner right and then you've got your pollution you know what I mean so it probably sort of makes it go a little bit black you know too close to the smoke and diesel in front of you so the main cause could be the blocked air filter or a dirty map sensor so if we've got that sorted the next most common cause of today's diesel blowing black smoke are your injector problems or your fuel pressure which is we've talked about SCVs recently in another video so we're not going to go on about those but injectors, worn injectors, okay? We've mentioned it before, we've done plenty of videos on injectors. They're really, they have fine tolerances, they're finely tuned, and when they get wear on them and they're not working right, it's all precision, you know, the way they're programmed to work. Um, they're all wearing parts, and when it doesn't, when they're not working right, that's where you're gonna start getting a little bit of smoke. Um, not, be, not to be confused with, if perhaps if you're driving at night and you put the foot down a little bit, you may see some smoke. Sometimes what that can be is a build-up of soot in the EGR system or in the intake, and when you put the foot down, it sort of blows it out. So 
Uh, and, we, and we've seen and owned vehicles that at very low kilometres, like brand new cars, do that. So it's hard to judge it if it's smoke or not at night with a standard EGR system. Now, I'm not making any suggestions about EGR talk on this video. I just want you to understand that, you know, that's what you could be blowing out. You know the old Italian tuna, you know, where you give it the berries? Well, it's kind of you put the foot down for the first time, maybe that's why it's blowing it out, you know? Um, so possibly something along those lines. Um, but more likely if it's done some kilometers that the injectors are starting to get worn and tired now the vehicles we see a lot of vehicles that have got an EGR solution clean intakes and good fuel systems and I've demonstrated in other videos that they just don't blow smoke generally like it's quite possible to get no smoke so if you've got a good engine good oil good clean filters everything's set up quality you know less aftermarket stuff that affects things and you know there's an EGR solution in place you can rev it give it the floor and give it a good rev and you probably won't see any smoke on some vehicles you'll see a little bit of smoke a little bit's okay too but it may be a sign of what's to come so part of checking your injectors is to do this at full operating temp give it a bit of a rev you know you can give it a little bit when it's not stone cold but cool warming up it's all part of the judgment but if you're not a specialist and you're not working on these you're probably not going to quite get what i mean so it's a waste of time so that's where you need to take it to someone that knows about these vehicles or i suppose you could take my recommended average based on averages we work on a lot of when it comes to 1kds i'm not going to make recommendations on any other vehicles or engines i'll say things like on a 200 series they're basically same but different injectors similar sort of lifespan you know they need to be replaced right don't think you you went or you've got something that's immune to the problem it's not a problem it's wear and tear okay so this isn't too much about injectors and wear and tear and when to replace them it's more about why do they blow smoke but that's why why is it blowing smoke why are we driving around now and most of these things aren't blowing smoke well Obviously diesel systems get better, common rail is pretty good when it's working right. So everything's a lot cleaner and that's awesome. And a lot of these things, there's been DPFs on trucks for you know for a while now as well. So it is good that things are clearing up. But look, that I just wanted to firstly touch on why does it blow smoke? And that's why possibly you've got blocked filters. Um, sometimes fuel filters can cause problems as well with restrictions. Um, when we used to work on Navaras and stuff like that, I remember one in particular, I'm not going to name anyone, it was a D40 Navara and it used to come in maybe every 20,000 k's at best, more likely every 40,000 k's, okay, so, and maybe even longer than that, and it would come in, they were the sort of people that wouldn't service the car and do preventive maintenance, they thought it was saving money by just keep driving it, go a bit longer and you'll save some money, but then when they came in they had to spend more anyway, and Look, I suppose lucky this time, and it might have worked out for them, not for the next owner of that vehicle with a poor maintenance and the poor next owner, but for them, they probably did save a bit of money because they didn't have, the one I'm thinking of as an example, they didn't have a catastrophic failure, but they used to come in with, and the fil air filter would be blocked and the fuel filter would be blocked, and changing either would help the situation, changing both would all but solve the situation. And, you know, it's that fuel pressure problem with those as well. It's the so, you know, needed injectors, needed a suction control valve, but 80% of the smoke was sorted with um, changing the air and fuel filters. So they're the things to get in mind. Air filters, fuel filters, basic service. You're not going to see a lot of smoke unless your injectors uh, are due. If you're seeing smoke and as it builds up, as it gets older, that's when they're due. Ideally, Toyotas, you're not going to see you're not going to see smoke out the back of Toyotas, right? You know, it's just not going to happen. I pointed out before in other videos, we're driving along. Have you noticed it's always these other vehicles? It's always the last one the other day. It was an Audi. We had an Audi blowing smoke, right? You know, Mercedes or Craptivas or Navaras, you know, D22s, D40s, Patrols, all these sorts of things, right? You know, if you see a Toyota blowing smoke, it's probably 20, 30 years old, you know, old-type injectors. They, they do blow a little bit of smoke, those, you know, and as they get older, again, they just need to be, those injectors need to be redone, and you can, you can't get those. They're a basic, we're not talking about injectors too much, as I said. Now, what else can we cover in this video? That's, I suppose, why don't we call it a day on that one? That's why does it blow smoke? That pretty well covers it. Now, we'll, we'll mention a couple other things, actually, different types of smoke. So, 
when when they or we or they anyone talks white smoke i think what we're talking about is fuel as in leaking injector so your injectors can come to the point where they're worn and they're not sealing properly and they can leak fuel overnight you start up the morning you'll see so if you're getting that white smoke that's obviously an injector problem also a different problem but um, we'll call it white smoke but you know by the time you've got that you've got the next problem as well and people call it white smoke but I think it's more of a grey I call it a grey smoke it's more of a oil that oil grey smoke so you kind of got three smokes okay to keep it simple you know it might be more white from that leaking in injector that's going to be the least common I think um, look if you haven't ever changed the injectors and this goes for all diesels I said that at the start it's not we're not just talking about one KDs here diesel injectors have seats under them that need to be periodically changed they don't last forever type thing and um, basically you know yeah they need to be changed so that's when those seats leak and the oil drips past those like not on all vehicles you won't necessarily get oil dripping down there some you'll just get the leak blow bites there's different systems we're not going to go into too much detail but with some of them that's where you're going to get that grey oil like an old flogged engine you're getting that kind of bluey grey oil smoke you know think about the old cars that used to blow smoke I think 20 30 years back right <clears throat> before 2000 thinking the 1980s is probably a good example there's plenty of cars around blowing smoke still petrol engines putting out that yeah that worn engine oil type smoke it's burning oil so that that's that one we've, we've uh knocked that one off and we've knocked them all off haven't we so yeah you've got your injectors not working right too much fuel at the wrong time blowing your black smoke if it's not your filters you've got your injectors leaking for white smoke and you've got your oil smoke if you've got um blow by or something like that and if you've done your injectors and your seats and everything's right and it's still blowing some blue smoke you probably have got an issue starting with the engine and if it's a quality engine it's sometimes possible to prolong the life of that engine by using different oils and additives and tuning and maintenance to get a bit more out of it. Just because it puts out a little bit of smoke doesn't mean that there's a problem you need a new engine. So just be aware of that as well, right? So understanding what everything is, I suppose, a little bit. Um, obviously, leaving injectors in too long can do some damage to engines and in the small diesel engines well not just small but that's what we're going to talk about that's what we're working on um you know the piston's the one that cops the damage so uh, i suppose that's another video guys that's why it blows smoke if you got some out of that don't forget to give us a thumbs up um subscribe if you haven't already make sure you've got that bell on so you don't miss the next video you'll get an email ding it's easy to keep up 10 15 20 minutes a day a video a day helps you work rest and play Alright guys, I'll be looking in the comments to, for any other ideas on what other information you would like to know about. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, take it easy and have a great day.